Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. With you playing all those sports, let's fast forward to high school. Right. You had gotten scholarships to for each sport. Uh-huh. Why baseball? Because, you know, I'm from Fifth Ward. I'm from, you know, my, my, my liver conditions aren't the best. You know, I want to always get my family out. So, hey, man, they offered me a million dollars when I was 17 years old. Wow. And I don't, you know. Let's no stop right there. A million dollars. A million and a half to be. Boy, exact. nigga, that nigga. Ooh, you, it, I'm so <laughs> glad. It, it could have been me. The schools ain't going to offer that at all. This was the first thing you bought. What was the first thing you bought? I went by my mama's house. House. You know? That's it right there. What, what did you buy for yourself? I bought a car, you know. Most likely. Bounced up there, you know. <laughs> navigator on twenties, so, you know. Okay, if you had to go back, knowing all the things you know now, go back to that age. How would you do something different? Would there be anything you would have done different, even with the money spending? Of course, you're still gonna well, buy your yeah, mama house first. Yeah, just you know, just afterwards, you know, it's the spending you do after you get the stuff that you need, you know. So, uh, pretty much, you're 17, you know, you, you or your mom never had this kind of money, so you know, it's you going know, down. Old, yeah, you know, it's going down. Yeah, everybody you know, in the hood talking too. Yeah, everybody know. talking like they got yeah. it. They got yeah. it over there. You got. We got to move because different. Because I always feel. Because I always feel <laughs> well, like this. You have to move quick. Like right, I, I, I literally move. You know, my parents. As soon as I got drafted, I moved to my, you know, out yeah. of the neighborhood. You yeah, know, so. you moved into the country. Well, kind of like, consider to us, because we, you know, we had never, we not used to going nowhere. So yeah, yeah, up yeah. A few exes up the freeway was the country. <laughs> you know. Man. Now, because I always feel like when you hear a million dollars, you know, everybody's jumping up and happy for a million dollars. But I feel like you can run through that money. Oh, real you quick. can. Oh, you can. You can. I, I don't you think. Can. <laughs> there, I, there's no doubt in that. Run through it real quick. Because of taxes and everything. How did you deal with that? Like when you first got in, did you have a, 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 a like somebody to no, educate I had you? A, on? Yeah, I had a, a financial uh, advisor. 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 So I was good. And all that, and all those, all those areas, you know, just have to learn how stuff goes. You know, it's just automatically. Shaq, I just thought about Shaq. Shaq said he went bought everybody a car. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> he lost everything when he went to the bank. He was yeah, negative. Yeah, he like, damn. Just, when know, he got his deal, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's just you want to help out your family members. Everybody coming. You know, you <laughs> they want coming to for help, you. Man. You know, you want to try to do everything and you can to help everybody. They might have gave you a dollar or something. You was yeah. little, you know. And, but uh, after a while, you have to realize that you can't be like that with everybody. You have to make small decisions and save your money. Yeah, Definitely. because as soon as you can't give them, they're mad. Oh, the they first is. time you tell well, them no? Mad. Oh, first time you say no? Highly upset. They mm-hmm. forget about all them uh, yes times. Yes. <laughs> That's straight out the door. How That's one thing you? I always say. I say, How? if I ever won a lottery, I will put that money up and I wouldn't touch it for a whole year. No, I'm wait. touching it. No, <laughs> hell no. You won't be with me doing that. <laughs> we getting that money. We're going to spend something. We're going to invest or do yeah, something. Yeah, because you don't know if you're going to be here a year later. Yeah, you don't do true. it like that. You know, yeah. we we blessed to be here now. Right. If you think about, about all the friends in Fifth Ward and all the friends in Jamaica that you've lost, yeah. you'll start thinking different about that whole year because you just never know. Yeah. So you can't take life for granted. Especially friends you your own I mean? age. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. people that from... 35 up, yeah. you start going to funerals a lot. Right, right. You know what I mean? So you yeah. got to be very, very different with your time. You know what I'm talking about? I know, <laughs> I, know I ain't going to wait no year. <laughs> Me neither. So let's talk about, because I didn't really get it. it how much... It, you did a second deal for a hundred and some million dollar uh, company. Yeah. How did that feel that day? That I was want, with I Rays. Said, with the Devil Rays you talking yeah, about? Yeah, uh, Boston Red Sox. Yeah, Boston Red Sox. How did, I mean, it's like I said. How did you feel, man? Let's talk it's, about that. It's just, it's just, you know, just. Yeah, I'm going to go sign this paperwork. I got to do this. You ain't lady. You understand. <laughs> you know where you come from and you get to this point and you just never even. Never in a million years would I thought that, you know, me playing baseball would ever, like, would I even ever be able to mention that type of stuff. So, um, just to get to that point from where I started from was just amazing, you know what I'm saying? Man. And just to see how it's, it's still going and stuff like that. Like, I, I happened to uh, just walk, what got me serious about baseball, I just happened to walk into a random corner store one day and saw that uh, Carl Everett had signed for $50 million. This mm, was in, like, whoa. 1996 or something. I was in about the 10th grade. I remember saying, Jesus, you know man. what I'm saying? I could You talking, man. You know? It's that serious, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. So like when you think about when you think about what you done, you it's a freak you're a freak of nature, man. Like everybody don't do that, bro. Man, That's just, the thing that you gotta realize. Like being in the picture, sometimes you can't see the picture. You know right. I'm telling the truth. Right. But but for you to do something like that, man, that's that's way for me. That's a hey. That's way up there, man. Yeah, MVP many me. times. Oh, man. I beast, mean, beast mode. Right. Yeah. You broke a lot of records. I mean, like, yeah, man, I just like you I did said, amazing. I was just trying to like you know do the best I can, leave a good legacy for my kids. 
uh, you know, and, and, and when you know when you black in baseball, you you gotta be good. It is no the only way you can be up there is if you're an all star. You know, so. Mm -hmm. Um, like and you four time all star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so um, I wanted to ask. Um, so Hall of Fame. How how does that work? Because I think it works with like writers. The writers, you know what I'm saying, have to vote. And then like we just got our letters in the mail where we can all vote for our peers. When are you getting also. in there? When they vote for me, I, guess I gotta get popular <laughs> yeah, enough. Man. You know, I gotta get in there. You know, so because um, you did a lot. Cause I thought they would look at all that you've accomplished. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. No. Well. It's like over time, that's my first year, you know, and I'm a speed guy, you know, but I just look at it as like I played really well during the steroid area, which was tough to play in. Well, yeah, I bet. So um, I hope they I hope they consider that. Man, <laughs> come on, man. You're going to be all right, man. Yeah, I think you, I, you, know the, what I'm saying? you got that favor, man. Yeah. I can tell, man. Yeah, so popularity, doing stuff like, like you know, with the record label and just being popular outside of baseball, I hope that helps too. I think well. it will. You know, so I just want to keep doing positive stuff outside in the community so they can, like, just see and then with me coming back with my son hopefully you know i'm you know get back into coaching i'm debating whether i want to like go coach when he gets drafted or something like that i like you know it man. So, so how many kids you have i have five kids five how you know, many boys three boys got another boy that's coming right after my oldest son how's know? he how's he in sports <laughs> all of them he really have? yeah he he might be the number one pick in the whole draft you know they, really they, they just, wow they just come out man i bet i see them when they like Two two years old, and I just be amazed because you know I don't have to teach them that. You know I they already they get it naturally. Yeah, man. Are you doing the same thing for the girls? Because I remember growing up, my dad would always do everything nah, for the boys, I, and the girls like, nah, oh no, you a girl. Nah, I, got, you. I got the girls. She my girls are athletic. They just don't know it yet. They okay. just don't know what they can do yet. But I see them around the house. They play with the boys. They got a lot of energy. I'm just waiting to kind of see what they gravitate to. So you're not going to treat them differently? You're going to nah, still... No, they're going to be aggressive too. I'm going to make them dominate the girls. Oh, okay, okay. I want, of course, I would like for my girls to play tennis, but hey, that look like I might have a couple hoopers on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. You got two girls. Huh? Yeah, I got yeah. two That's girls. That's dope, man. Yeah. Um, just a girl, you know, there ain't no money in the basketball. You know, I want that's to, what you know I see. Yeah, I want to go where they where they can get paid. Yeah, know? yeah, golf? yeah. I mean, you play golf? Nah, so I don't think. I don't you know either. what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't I, know. I, 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 I like to. I'm telling me the track or basketball. I mean, yeah. a track or um or, or volley. I mean, or, or tennis. Tennis. Yeah, they, they can make good money. They might want to play softball. You know. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's hard, man. It's <laughs> hard on the me. girls, man. <laughs> but we definitely we know y'all in the building, and we know y'all yeah. run things. We just we just here. Exactly. I'm, I'm just hoping. Exactly. I'm just hoping that one day, like the basketball, like take off. You know, where they can right. get paid more. You know, right. that would be I better. I think it's gonna take like a girl to just come down the lane and just mash one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it'll take. Dunk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.